Bambini Talk. Welcome to the Bambini Show, your number one children's TV show in Ghana. My name is Helena Quiz, and I'm here with Rudy Safako Amazado. You can call me Rudy, and that's so lovely. You know how we do it here on the Bambini Show. We educate and entertain you. So what are we doing today? Well, we will be doing our own game, yeah, the word play game. And you see our computer teacher, yeah. He'll be teaching yeah. you a lot about a lot. computer what you must know yeah. about our computer the computers that we use and yeah. types of computers i don't know but maybe he would yeah yes to you know yeah. so before we start i'm um, talking and doing our word please and what we have for you today you know about the infamous rise of the covid 19 otherwise known as the novel coronavirus and then we've been advised by the who that's the world health organization and our government to take some precautions using the face, nose masks, washing our hands regularly with soap and the running water, and also using our hand sanitizer. Right now we are here at the studios and we can't do any of that because we are talking and all that. So we'll use one of the precautions, that's our hand sanitizer. So I'm going to do this right here. Some drops for Helena and Thank some you. drops for me. <laughs> so what are we going to do? Let's rub it. Rub with me at home. Rub it, rub it. Before we go there, today we are going to do something new. That's um, words and its synonym. You know, when we have words, we have other words used to replace them. And then we learn something new right here today. So, you guys, I hope you know what synonyms are. Yeah. Words nearest in meaning. meaning. So, let me say, let me give you an example. We'll be doing it there, but yeah. I'm giving you an example. Sample. So when I say tear, what would you say? What would you say? Okay, I'll be waiting for you to text me. You thought I would be saying the answer, but no, no. way. I'm not going to say it. So text us. I saw um, a Siedu, Mrs. Yeah. Siedu, or let me call her Miss Mr. Siedu. A Siedu yeah. Boate. Yeah. yeah, she mentioned her name, Nanekia Siedu Boate. Yeah. She sent her video yeah. and comments. Yeah. And Benedicta, you didn't mention your last name, name but then... Yeah. You sent a message as well. You guys are doing very well, and we promise we'll post everything, okay? On that note, anytime you send your assignments, please add your name, your school, if that's possible. That would be lovely because we mention your name here and acknowledge you along the way. That would be so beautiful to hear your name right here on Bambini Show. So, Helena, this time around, I'm going to start because I always put you on the spot. <laughs> and I'm not okay. going to do that today. So, <laughs> I'll do the Anna and start today. Okay, I'm word. ready. So, I'll give her a word. So, get yourself a partner at home. Mummies, you can also, daddies, uncles, aunties, you can also have a partner. You can partner with your child at home or your word. So, Helena is my partner as always. I'm going <laughs> to give her a word. And she give me the word synonym. So your first word Ooh. is anger. <laughs> Enrage. Enrage. That's the other word for it. Okay. Yeah. So are you going to give me back the word? Another word. Yeah. Um, dangerous. Dangerous. So I would say unsafe or hazardous. She's too good. <laughs> okay, yeah. my word. Okay. I give you decide. Decide. decide okay decide would be determine wow i love that <laughs> let me give you your word I'm crooked ready. okay crooked so i have two words for that hey. we have bend or zigzag it's actually a word bend or zigzag that's so are you giving me my last word yeah, or... your last word so i would say amazed 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 what should i say amazed yeah, I'm still thinking, no. someone should help me. Yes, Kids, no please words. help me. <laughs> okay, amazing. Surprise. Wow. Surprise. High five with the F. <laughs> You're ready? Yeah, I'm, let's see. Let's I'm give um, the teacher yeah, the chance, the, to, chance to I teach can't us something. To learn, I, I know some things, I know how to, but maybe okay. today right here on the virtual learning in our digital classroom, I'll learn more to computer. Okay. I like that computer computer, computer. Yes, <laughs> let's get ready for okay. say 
Okay, we'll be right back. Bambini time. Hello, my Bambini fans at home. Welcome to the guitar classroom. I am your tutor, Mr. Prince Kweku Ahima from Redeemer School, Kotobabi, Accra. Uh, today, I'm taking you through computing. You can also call it ICT. But before we start, let me add my voice to the campaign we are all doing about the coronavirus. I want to urge every one of you to practice the protocol that the government has given to us. As you know, I came here with my nose mask. I have hand sanitizer here, and then I also wash my hands before coming. Anytime you touch something, try and wash your hands with soap and the running water. Use your hand sanitizer if there's no water, and then put on your nose mask when you are going out. Please, if you don't have anything to do outside, stay at home, and I promise you, Bambini will give you everything you want when you were in school. You can be in your homes that you enjoy from Bambini. Thank you very much. Let's go back to the board. The first thing I want us to look today is to look at introduction to computers. As we all know, we know what a computer is. We hear it from our parents, we hear it from our friends, we also know. So I'll ask you, what is a computer? So first of all, it is an electronic machine. An electronic machine that converts or manipulates data into information. Into information. So when you give a computer something, it can work on it and give you something useful. So a computer can accept data. It can process the data. And the same machine can also store the data. Then it can bring out the information. That is, after it has processed the data, it will convert it into information. It will, it will bring out the information. And then it, will, it can also help you to distribute the information that you have processed. So I want us to look at classifications of computers, how we can classify computers. Uh, the whole computers we have in the world can be classified into three groups. The first group, as you can see on the board, we have by type. Computers can be classified by type. We can group computers by size. We can group computers by the purpose. So when we look at the type of computers, there are three types of computers. There are three types of computers. The first one is called analog computers. Analog computers. The second one is called digital computers. Digital computers. The third one is called hybrid computers hybrid computers. I will show you images of all these types of computers. But let's look at how we can group computers by the size as the second one. So based on the size, the biggest computers, so when you talk about size, we're talking about from the biggest to the smallest. So the biggest computer starting from the down is the supercomputer, supercomputer. From supercomputer, we go to mainframe computers. Mainframe computers. From mainframe computers, we go to mini computers. Mini computers. Then the smallest computer is what you call microcomputer. Let me also say that the microcomputer is the one we mostly see in our homes and our workplaces. The microcomputer can also be called personal computer. It is what we usually say personal computer. Personal computer. Or in short, we say PC. So PC stands for personal computer. It is a computer that is designed to be used by one person at a time. So when one person sits behind that computer, he can use it at a time. We call it 
micro computer. The mini computer is very big. Um, when you go to your cafes, the cafes use it as a server. Uh, when you talk about computer, you know we are talking about the systems unit. So that, com that system unit is powerful than the micro one, the, the ones we see in our homes. And then the mainframe computer is also big, bigger than the mini computer. Big companies use them. The supercomputer is the biggest of all computers. When you talk about the function, the speed, and the capacity, the supercomputer is the most powerful computer. I promise you, I'll give you their images for you to see how they are. Then the next one is to group computers based on the purpose. So based on the purpose, we have two main types of computers. We have the general purpose computer. Then we also have the special purpose computer. When we talk about general, I hope you understand. General means something that we can use to do everything. We can use it to do everything, general. So all the computers we see in our schools, our homes, they are general computers. Special purpose computer is a computer that is designed for a special task. You go and buy it for a special purpose. For that purpose alone, it, it cannot perform general function for you. Okay, I hope you have understood me very well. Now, let's see our images we have on the screen. You've seen the first image. I hope one of you can tell me the name of this. You see it everywhere. When you sit in your daddy car, you can see this one. We call it speedometer. Speedometer is a type of computer. And which type of computer is speedometer? It is an analog computer. An analog computer is used for measuring things, physical things. So just mention some of them for me. Thermometer, speedometer, hygrometer, rain gauge. They are all analog computers. Now, let's look at the next image. Yes. Look at these images we have on the screen here. We have the first one is like a clock. We call it analog clock. So it is also a computer, analog clock. So when you see the digital one below the analog clock, 23, 59, 59, that is digital. Then the top one is analog. Then you see the next one is also the speedometer. That's I said, it's also analog computer. Then the down one, it's also a digital computer. So let's see more images. Uh -huh. All these computers you see on the screen are all personal computers. That is, they are all micro computers. They are computers that were made to be used by one person at a time. The first one is desktop computer. This computer is made to be on a desk. That is what is called desktop computer. So we have two types. We have the tower computer, then we have the desktop computer itself. The one you see on the screen is called tower computer. That is the first one. It has its system unit standing, standing vertically on the table, and the monitor is placed at other place. This tower computer. With the desktop computer, the monitor is placed on the system unit. That's desktop computer. The next group of computers, microcomputer, is laptop computer. We all see laptop, you know laptop. Laptops are made to be placed on our laps. But be careful, it has health implications. So anytime you want to put laptop on your lap, make sure you have something on your lap that will cover it so that the heat will not penetrate into your body. The next group of computer is note, netbook computer, or you can call it notebook computer. This one is smaller than the laptop computer, but they are similar. Let's look at the next tablets. I hope you all use tablets in your homes. Tablet is also a type of computer, and it is a microcomputer. So you can see more images as I have talked about. Then this you see on the screen. I hope you've seen it before. Your parents, when they go to the banks, 
in this coronavirus time, they don't need to go to the bank. You see them putting some card into a machine to take out money. That machine is what you call ATM. The full meaning is automated teller machine, ATM machine. The ATM machine is a hybrid computer. When we say, what is hybrid? When we say hybrid, hybrid is something that combines two things at the same time. So hybrid computers perform the function of both digital and then analog. The digital computer are computers that are used to count. To count. They are operated by counting and showing digital information to us. Then the analog computers are used for uh, measuring things. So with the hybrid, it can measure things and it can also pe um, perform calculations for us. That is why we could say it is hybrid. So ATM machine is an example of a hybrid computer. Now let's see another machine there. I hope most of you have not seen this machine before. You see this machine when you go to the bank for transactions. They use the machine for counting our monies for us. The machine is called money counting machine for counting money. It is also a hybrid computer. It performs both digital and analog function. I told you that based on the size, the most powerful computer, the biggest computer is called supercomputer. And right here on the screen, that's a supercomputer for you. These computers are very expensive. They are very powerful. The speed is higher than any other computer. And it is used by big companies, very big companies. They use it for multi-purpose tasks. That is super computer for you on the screen. Let's move on to the next one. We have mainframe computer. This is next to the super computer. But the super computer is bigger than this computer. The super computer is also powerful than this computer. We call it mainframe computers. Now the next one is mini computer. And, uh, we have it in our banks our cafes and our companies and all these computers can also be called server when you have about 10 20 computers you connect all to this computer it's very powerful but it's not powerful it's not more powerful than the mainframe computer the mainframe computer is powerful than the mini computers now let's look at the last size of computers micro computers all these things you see are all microcomputers. We have seen your smartphones you are holding there is a computer. The tablet you have is also a computer. Then you have seen your notebook. I have talked about it. The laptop is a microcomputer. Desktop is also a microcomputer. Don't forget that microcomputers are also known as personal computers. Now, advantages and disadvantages of computers. We have seen what a computer is. What are some of the benefits? What are some of the things we can use the computers to do? Everything that has advantage equally has disadvantage. So we also look at the bad side of computers. First of all, let's look at advantages of computers. One, computer has a higher speed. When you say speed, the rate you run. When your father, your mother sends you to go and buy something, you run. Your brother or your sister can also run. Which one can run faster? Computer, the speed of a computer is very, very high. So anytime you give it instruction, it works for you at the fastest rate. So it is an advantage of a computer. The next one is accuracy. Accuracy is talking about the mistakes. Computer can perform less mistakes, less errors. It's very, very, it can, whenever you give something to a computer, it will give you the exact result. So we call it accuracy. But don't forget that when you give a computer bad thing, 
it will give you also bad name. We call that one Gigo. Gigo. Gigo means garbage in, garbage out. When you give a computer garbage, it will also give you garbage. You type something on the computer and you print it and you're expecting the computer to change the content or what we have typed for you. It will not happen. What you give to the computer is what he brings it out to you. And we call that um, Google. Garbage in, garbage out. So computer is very accurate. It gives accurate information based on what you give to it. Let's look at the next advantages. It has a very high storage capacity. Let me ask you, how much information can you store on your brain? Do you know that our brains are faster than everything on the, in the world? Computers are equally faster. Computers can also store huge amounts of information at a time. You have your movies, your pictures, everything on the computer. The storage capacity of a computer can be measured in bytes. So you hear something like, kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, terabytes, petabytes, exabytes, jodabytes. These are all used to measure the storage capacity of a computer. In our next lesson, we will talk about computer, computer storage capacity, and you will learn more about this. The next advantage of a computer is it facilitates, it helps online trading. You can stay at the comfort of your homes, then you can buy. So selling and buying on the internet is what you call e-commerce. Let's look at another thing. Online education, distance learning. You can see me right from your home because of computers. Coronavirus has come. Everybody is inside, but you are learning. Because of what? Computers. You can also, in no time, we give you our website. You go there, you can learn all these materials from your website. Because of computers. Your, 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 your brothers, your fathers, your parents, your family members in the universities. They learn. You see them doing the assignment, writing exams on computers. Computers are very beautiful. It can facilitate online education. Don't forget, computers are different from the internet. We get internet on computers. That's why they work together. So you can use your computers to go to the internet. Then you can make research of whatever thing you want. The next one is that the computer tell us the weather forecasts. You know, in those days, you don't know the weather. So when you are doing businesses, you are going to school, you don't know whether it will be rain today or it will be sun today. But with computers, it, you can easily determine whether it will be rain or it will not be rain. Computers also help to produce employment. It can give you lots of work. We will talk about this in our next session. Then you can also get the biggest one, internet on computers. We'll talk about this. Let's quickly look at disadvantages of computers. Everything that has advantage equally has disadvantage. Computers have health issues. They are health issues, we call them health hazard. When you use computers over a long period of time, you are likely to suffer from health problems. In our next session, I will tell you some of the health issues that comes with computers. Then, computers help in the spread of pornographic materials. Computers, one of the things computers do is that they, they don't know whether you are a child or you are this. It spreads information at any time. So it doesn't know whether the information is going to a child or a minor or whoever. So when there's pornographic material on the, on the internet, it's spread it to everybody. And then as young ones, we are vulnerable. So that is one disadvantage of computer. The next one is the spread of virus and then hacking attacks. So we all know virus, coronavirus. We've heard of virus, virus, virus. What is virus? Virus is anything and that will make you feel uncomfortable. So anything that makes the computer feel uncomfortable 
is viral. We will talk about virals our next time. So we will take assignments for today and end it here and continue the next time. Tell a friend to tell a friend to watch Bambini show. This is our assignment for today. In your own words, define computer. Give the example of computers under the following classifications. We've talked about it. Computers can be grouped into three by the types, the size, and the purpose. So give examples of computers under the types. Don't forget, we said that there are three types of computers. Under the size, then under the purpose. Then the last assignment is states four advantages and disadvantages of computers. I hope you can solve them. And when you finish solving them, if you have any issue concerning ICT or computing, you can send the answers or you can contact the following numbers on the screen. 0241-902927. That's my personal contact. Or 055-8218-548. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. Welcome back. I hope you've learned a lot because I have. Yeah. Really, what have you learned? I learned the shapes the advantages and disadvantages so whilst i'm using my computer at home i will know that it actually have an advantage sorry and disadvantage so i think it was a good one for me and for you so today we are inviting something new where i'll give helena some words to form um a word out, out of it sorry i'll give her a word then she will form some word out of it after that we'll give you some assignment so you can do same and don't forget to add your names, your school so words. That will be great. <laughs> so, Helena, today I'm just going to do you good. I'm going to do you good. So, I'll start first. But I'll write on the board. So, I'll give her the chance to form the words under it. So, Helena, I'm going to give you the words. I'm going to display them on the board. Lena, the board is yours. Bambini, Bambini. I'm a little children, it's Bambini. Come, let's learn in various fun ways. It's an educational TV show. Bambini, Bambini. I'm a little children, it's Bambini. Come, let's learn in various fun ways. It's an educational TV show. Met, enter, and main frame. We have main frame. Obviously, we have farm. That was awesome. I really love it. So clap for Helena. Wow. Okay, so. I just Here got um, a word from education. Bambini, Bambini. I'm a little children, it's Bambini. Come, let's learn in various fun ways. It's an educational TV show. Bambini, Bambini. I'm a little children, it's Bambini. Come, let's learn in various fun ways. It's an educational TV show. Be for bravery, be for great achievement. Out of education, I had caution, kite, date, um, entertainment. I had entertained man. And the last word, government, I had men, rent, and govern. There are so many words to form out of this bed. I had only three chances to do that. And I hope you at home had a lot of words. So before we go, let's sanitize our hands. Really? Because we did a lot of yes. surfaces and all. So it's very important. 
And please do this with us as we sign off. Some drops for Helena. Thank you. Some drops for Rudy. <laughs> rob, rob, rob. Wait for me. Let's rob. Yeah, rob with us at home. Wow, Thank beautiful. You. My name is Helena Chris. Stay safe. And I am Rudy Sefako Amesado. You can call me Rudy. And that's so lovely. So we say bye. I'm being it.